Greetings, everyone. My name is Antoinette Rustata, and I'm here to share with you how our musical ministry had grown extensively using social media and online technology. It really was like an uh, organic underground course that started to take root. It started with a concept that we call the three F's, which is basically fans, friends, and then family. It started off by when we do our shows, and we do the shows saying that we are all God's children, brothers and sisters. This is a concept that we like to bring to everywhere that we go and to perform. One of the most amazing things is that once the fans start to sit there and embrace the message, they automatically start to become into our lives and become friends. Once they become friends and we get to know them, they become a member of our family. One of the most beautiful things that I've noticed was that um, after the shows, Pata would do these prayer circles after the shows to try to unite all the different people and to sit there and spread even more of God's message. And the, the folks, even though they're not necessarily religious, felt like they had some kind of spiritual connection that they could sit there and connect with, with through God. And they felt that Pato was the one that could sit there and bring them through God, even though they didn't really want to be in the church anymore. So I found out there was a lot of people who were going to be like agnostic believers, people who had left the church, people who were atheists, people who were lost in their faith, and people who were actually looking for faith. This was a great way for us to unite. I didn't realize that how much that the people really were hungry and had this thirst for fellowship and for spirituality. So basically, musical ministry was a way that we could bring people together. So here we are doing a 50 state tour across America and um, we're meeting all these people from coast to coast. On the merch table we have You Ranch Inspired in Music. One of the albums was nominated for a Grammy called Life is a Miracle. The other You Ranch Inspired Music is also Destination Paradise, New Day Dawning, and then seven years to complete the complete works of the Words of Christ. Who would know that this would be such an upliftment for people who even don't even read the Urantia book, but still want to get the teachings, and this was an easier way for them to be able to swallow just by being able to listen. An audio version that was just soft and subtle, and then the teachings are something that can always just kind of seep within you. I was so excited that I was promoting um, Urantia.org, truthbook, Urantiabook.org. You Be the News of the Discovery of Science, History, Evolution, and the Urantia Book. And from there, it just started to spin more into more online presence into the Urantia movement. if we're going to sit there and introduce people to the Urantia book, they also might need some other resources and other ways that they can sit there and find more information because we're not the only ones who can actually provide this for people. So we started to display a lot of the Urantia book and print materials from all the organizations, including secondary works from the UB community. We also discussed the Urantia apps. This was one of my favorite outreach tools because I was carrying around this big blue book in my heavy Hollywood bag all over the place and it was killing me until a good friend of mine named Kevin Goodman introduced me to the Urantia app. Once I found out about the app, it had the entire book listed right inside this app. It has quotes that you could tap on anytime on the right and then if you like what you read there, then you could tap on the top corner of the left and it would take you exactly to the paper. It would allow you to bookmark and if I didn't have any more books to give out to people or to introduce people, I said, just give me your phone. Let's download this app. Boom, boom, boom. This is how it works. You know, section one, two, three, four. And, uh, and a lot of people were able to start to be able to read without having the book and they can just kind of read at their own time and at their own pace, the same way that I start to get into it as well. Now, one of the things too, when we're doing these shows is that it's very important for us to have other Urantia book readers come to the shows as well too. That's why we try to incorporate and allow them to meet who our fans are, meet the type of people who are fellow and potential 
uh, truth seekers. So that way, if they do become interested and that we're not waiting a year before we're answering questions, that people can help align them with either a local study group to sit there and be able to answer a question, to be able to do all these different things where we can go the second mile instead of just the first mile of introducing the revelation. The more the merrier is one of my favorite sayings for all the people who want to sit there and get involved as far as like online media or social media or different ways so that what we can be able to share within the community and also to the world, the Urantia Book Teachings. There are a lot of different ways, there's a lot of different avenues, and there's a lot of different aspects. And it's all good news for all the people involved. four, maybe five of us on the bus every single day, we would study on the road and that's where we started our first study group and it was a really a mobile study group. At that point in time, we also, touring, we also met a lot of Urantians across the country and we would also join their study groups as we was touring as well too. When we started our little small study group, it also started to branch out from our home as well too. So when we did get home, there was people that we introduced the Urantia book to and they also had questions as well too. So that basically we just had them come over and our little group, which was still small, still was being consistent and we started to continue on studying together because we all had the same questions. And from there, I said, Pato, I mean, we need to take this on Skype, you know, because there's people across the country that we're meeting and that we're introducing the Rancher book too and they don't have any access to a study group or they don't know any other UV readers. And there's no fellowship. I was like, we've got to be able to accommodate them somehow. And it'd be so easy if we just do this on Skype and if we record the Skype sessions for them. So he finally obliged and he said, okay, we'll start to do our study group. And at one point, we had four Skype study groups happening per week. We had a new reader group. We had a seasoned reader group. And then we had the life and teachings of Christ. And then we did two on Sunday so that way we could reach the people who were Skyping with us from Europe and then the, on the other side the people who were Skyping from Asia. And that way we can accommodate all different type zones and all different days of the week, which was like two during the week and then two on Sunday. One of the great things about technology is that we're able to be able to assist people remotely by using Skype. So if people have questions, if they want to sit there and be able to have us invite us into their own study group or to assist them on how they can build their study group, if they have different questions on how to do their study group, they can always just Skype, we can have our face-to-face -face meetings, we can sit there and visualize and see each other. And this is an amazing thing because through Skype technology and now Zoom technology, because that is a newer platform that we're using these days, is that people get a chance to know each other. This is the fellowship. This is a place where you're actually sitting face to face with the people and they can express themselves and be able to like if you were sitting in the same room. We realize this when they start to come together years later and it's like I've known you for years. I've been studying these papers with you for years. We've been through these journeys together for years without even actually meeting until years later. So one of the things about ministry is that um, people always come to us with different problems um, that they have, different things that they felt that they can only come to Pato in a direct way, but because we are traveling a lot and we are very mobile and we are meeting people, he's always saying, if you need to call me, if you need to contact me, you can call me, you can Skype me, you can email me, and they usually come across as little messages coming through like in emails or on Facebook or different things, and he's like, okay, why don't we set up a Skype call and let's talk. And, um, this was a, something that was very valuable because they felt like, okay, here's somebody who's really willing to listen and not necessarily to give advice because if there's one thing that he never does, he never tells anybody what they should do. You know, he never tells them what they should do and he never charges them any money. Well, this is going to cost for these services or, or for anything else. He's like, I'm here as a brother friend. Because of the amount of people that were coming to him, he started to create this one group for, for our Skype study, which was for progressive youths. And this was a, something that different families could actually come in together, just like we do our Skype study, except where they can come there, the parents and the children together. Because a lot of times what I notice is that through Skype, 
the parents are getting this spiritual opportunity to sit there and learn and to get spiritual receptivity and fellowship and to sit there and go further and learn. But what's missing is, is the children. If the children aren't receiving the same type of learning, then they're going to be the ones who are going to be growing up without it. That's going to be the part that's going to be missing in their lives. So by having them come together and being able to talk and share together as a family, this can help grow the family spiritually. Also from there, we started our international Zoom studies as well as we're meeting more people and touring people from around the world. They really are limited in the resources as far as you know, study groups in their areas. There's so many isolated readers that are everywhere that don't have anybody else they can chat with or they can talk to or be able to share or study or learn the UV with. As a professional artist, Pato was already using social media as a platform. He had a MySpace account that had over 65,000 people following him. He was able to connect with his fans by talking through them through private messages or by people leaving messages on his wall. And let him know that Facebook was a new way to go. Everybody was moving their platform from MySpace to Facebook. So we decided to start Pato Bantan and Now Generation fan page, and then he decided to start to create his own personal pages. After that, I had set up the Twitter Pato Bantan and the Instagram Pato Bantan because I noticed in the fast-moving society, some people are very limited with their time and their space and they really just want quick tidbits of information. And in order to stay connected with all the young people and all the people who are following, we need to be connected with them as well. This is when we decided to start to create our Facebook groups. Our first one was Minister Pato Bantan's Spiritual Family. We created this space because we wanted people of all faiths to be able to join with us. They could be Buddhists, Muslim, Urantians, Christians, atheists. No matter what their belief was, if they wanted to have some spiritual fellowship with us, they could. And if there's one thing that we always wanted to maintain was that we'd use the Urantian book teachings in order to share our knowledge with everyone else along with theirs. It's a very interesting way for people to actually find the Urantian book even if they weren't actually looking. But this found it a way that now we can sit there and like communicate on a more daily basis instead of like on a long term or long distance relationship that we were having with our spiritual family. As people got excited about learning about different things in the Urantia book, we decided to create another group so that way it would be a little bit more specific and more directed towards the teachings of the Urantia book. The first group that we created was Ambassadors of My Father's Kingdom. It was an educational course about the life and teachings of Jesus. From there, we also created Followers of Christ Michael 1 and Followers of Christ Michael 2. And by that, we had different courses that you would have to sit there and study, take a test in the end, and then receive a certificate. After that, we created Urantia 101 Support for New Readers. This is a fantastic group because people can take their time, not feel embarrassed by some of the questions that they have because it is a heavy learning to understand the Urantia book. Not everybody gets it the first time. They can feel safe in a safe environment to be able to ask questions, to be able to learn about the Urantia book, and to go into in-depth study with the Urantia book. The last group that we created was called Ministers for Christ Michael. At the time when Pato said that we would all become ministers, we really laughed at the idea. But then after we created the ministry and noticed how people were ministering to each other, he said, you're already doing the job already. At least by getting your certification, this will give you the credentials and allow you to be able to come into the hospitals, to be able to go into the prisons, to be able to perform the weddings, to be able to perform the, the different services that are needed and required of a minister. It also allows that by putting a certain task upon yourself to be of, of service to be able to help other people. This is kind of a great honor and it's, it's amazing that so many people decided they want to take that step as well now too. So no longer do people laugh at the idea anymore. It actually encourages and inspires people to sit there and say, I want to be a minister for Christ Michael. I want to go out there and share the good news and to spread the good news and to be able to serve my brothers and sisters. Our network now includes over 100 ministers for Christ Michael in a network worldwide. This is a place where they can come together, they can also learn, they can ask questions, they can share with each other on how they can minister to others. 
as I'm watching the spiritual community grow on Facebook, which is starting to explode, I notice I was like, how can I share the teachings of the Urantia book without having to share the entire Urantia book, knowing that most people don't have the patience, the time, or the energy to actually read the book. So I created a page called Urantia Aspirations. I said, if these love pages could sit there and go viral, what will happen if we share little bits of truth with the, world, with the public and see what happens? With this page, we can share just like one quote at a time. And the most amazing thing is that the people who actually love the quotes and the pages are not people who read the Urantia book. They are just everyday people. They could be Muslim, they could be Christian, they can be even atheist if it's just something that brings some truth, beauty, and goodness into their lives. I created this group with a few, help with a few other admins that I put on board so that way they can help me. And then after that I realized that there was something else that was missing. Besides sharing the truths of the Urantia book and sharing truth, beauty, and goodness, there's so much turmoil going on in the world today. I was like, we need to be able to just get along. So I created a second page called Coexist, using the Urantia teachings and also sharing all the different things of all the different faiths. Because I did realize that people do share something in common with religion of the spirit. And that's something that I really wanted to bring about. It's like, instead of telling them anything else, I just want people to be able to get along and see that we can coexist together. The very first Urantia group on Facebook was created by Carlos Da Silva. His idea of having a family of God and being able to share with other Urantia book readers. I was very honored to be invited to join as an admin a few years ago. I thought this was wonderful because now the group has over 5,000 members. We have a daily membership that's going between 90 and 100 people who are joining per month. And it's wonderful to sit there and see that there's over 100 Urantia groups on Facebook today that are all providing a service in their own unique way tailored for people in the Urantia community. In 2013, we had our first spiritual gathering. This was very amazing because the people who had met each other on Facebook now actually got a chance to sit there and see each other face to face in person. This was amazing because they felt like they had known each other for years. And here they were being able to hug each other, to hold hands with each other, to pray together, to laugh together, to enjoy fellowship together, to party together. It was really a family reunion. This year, we decided to take our spiritual gathering out from the hotel onto a cruise to Mexico. This was really fantastic because families were able to come together to fellowship, to study, to have the conference, or just even have a vacation while being able to sit there and connect with other UB readers and to connect with other people in our ministry and just be like one family reunion on a cruise ship. Another great tool that brings people together is actually live streaming. You wouldn't think about it, but actually when you do go live, people do want to tune in because it's something that's happening right at that very moment. The first time we actually live streamed an event was for Ustream for You Day. People sat there and said they watched from all over the world, from Europe, from in Africa, from in Brazil, from, from America, while we were sitting there in Thailand doing the 2012 You Day event with Ben Ballard. We also use Facebook Live to sit there and do shows as well too. I noticed that you get a lot more attendance and a lot more visibility when you actually go live versus posting just a video and then just having a few people actually respond. Whether it's daytime or nighttime on the other side of the world, they're all jumping on the band. Another reason why I love Facebook is the ability to be able to do social networking from the national level to the international level. We've done a 50 state tour and we practically found a study group in almost every single state, including Alaska and Hawaii. This is really beautiful because I, I met these people on Facebook and who would ever thought? It's like I've been chatting with you and we've been discussing your ranch ideas and then we're actually going to come face to face and I'm actually going to sit in your home having a study with you. Amazing. It also led us to the international level. We would not be able to meet these people in these different countries if we had met them on Facebook. Some of the places we went to in Brazil, I met these people in Facebook, like Lydia and other folks on Facebook, and there we were sitting in their homes having Urantia study. In Peru, we found Urantia Peru. In Africa, Pato was able, we started doing our own gatherings in Africa because Pato had met somebody on Facebook who reads the Urantia book. Also in Ecuador, in Costa Rica, found a group there that's been studying together for over 20 years. Also in Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines, and in Canada. 
what's really beautiful is that some of these places you would have never thought, but here are these readers that actually found each other and started their own study groups because they met other readers on Facebook. We use written media magazines created by MadCloud to sit there and put out different publications. One of them is the story of Pato's life that led him to the UB. Also, we created a Coexist magazine because like I said, these are very trying times and we just really want people to sit there and be able to come together and be able to coexist. We also did the Words of Christ so that way they can just have a print format of just the Words of Christ. And then the Words of Rastafari, which we found was very similar to the teachings of the Orange book. Now, the latest thing that we decided to do was create these little handouts that we can give out to people instead of just giving out full entire books, a simple page in different translations of the good news. Even last night when we gave out those out, someone sat there and held on to it dearly. They said, I really, really love this message. Where can I learn more? How can I learn more? I figured this is a great way to sit there and promote the UB and also to promote local study groups with the local readers. They can sit there, in turn, take it up from where we have left off as we're just planting the seeds. Our professional websites include patabantan.com. We also have ReverbNation.com Roots Doctor. That's my own personal musical site. Ever since I found the Urantia book, I've decided all of my music has to be Urantia inspired. We also have on Pato's Reverb Nation, he has the entire Words of Christ available for a free download. This is his gift to the world. It can be downloaded for free on Reverb Nation of Pato Bantan and the Now Generation. We also have a couple of YouTube channels which I really, really love because this gives us a chance to sit there and share with the people visually exactly what we're about as far as like our ministry and our music. We have YouTube.com Official Pato Bantan and we also have YouTube.com Minister Pato Bantan specifically designed to everything that we do ministry-wise with our music. So this is how we use technology and social media for us to do music ministry and UB outreach. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you picked up a little bit of something from this presentation. And thank you for watching. Tag me on Facebook.